Yo what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. We have official images of the Trey Young 2, right? So of course we have the tech specs and all that. Uh, so the Trey Young 2, we already went over. It's supposed to go for either 130 bucks or 140 bucks. Adidas usually does this, you know, depending on the colorway, they add 10 bucks for some reason. But I feel like, you know, the regular colorways will retail for 130 bucks. And as far as the release date goes, it says it's supposed to release October 1st, which is very, very close to now, right? In a couple of weeks. So I'm super excited about that. And we know the, the tech specs as well. So it has boost and light strike. And it's pretty much the same exact you know, cushioning setup as the first trail. I mean, which definitely isn't a bad thing. It had very, very good cushion. And it's, they're calling it the SOC 360 knit upper, right? Uh, so it completely wraps the foot for next level lockdown and agility. So we have this like blue colorway and let's start it off with the track shiones and here in the fourth we have a circle so it's a circle and it kind of circles out on itself we have a little bit of herringbone and i guess we have also a three stripes that goes across the fourth a little bit as well what does that say oh it says prime knit it says prime knit and adapt right oh so that's pretty cool so in the middle of the outsole there is a cutout or like a hole so it exposes the actual 360 knit, which is very cool. So you guys remember the Kobe 360? That had 360 fly knit as well. So if you looked at the like the bottom of the shoe, you can see the knit on the bottom too. It was a drop in midsole. Uh, so I guess they're doing the same thing here in the Treyong too. I don't really know what the advantage of having the material be 360 is. Why would it be like better overall one to one fit? Maybe it does a little bit, but I don't really think uh, people would notice it all too much but i guess you know the good thing about this traction pattern though it, it looks like the grooves are thick and it'll be very good for durability if you're playing on an outdoor court right so just like the tray on one in the heel we have boost and we can see there is a cutout where it exposes the boost as well and it's like a circular pattern that kind of circles out on itself as well uh this plastic piece it looks pretty cool you know there's two cutouts in it and also probably acts as a mid for chain plate and it looks like it wraps around all the way onto the lateral side. You know, as you guys can see, uh, it kind of, I guess, acts as a sidewall too, you know, for lateral containment. Um, so yeah, I mean, looking at the lateral side of the shoe, I I, I don't know, it looks like a BYW and Trae Young 1 had, uh, you know, the, the fun time and the Trae Young 2 is the baby, right? Uh, but the boost definitely does look thicker, right? So if you look at the Trae Young 1, uh, we have light strike and boost but here in the Trae Young 2 it just looks like there's boost in the heel uh, which is interesting and then in the forefoot the, the light strike is very very caged right that looks like a crazy cage actually what the interesting uh, on the medial side also i mean it says light strike and i guess light the light strike is exposed there but yeah the boost looks pretty damn nice I, I do like that and also it looks very very decoupled which i don't like i'm not a huge fan of decoupled outsoles all too much um but i guess if you look at containment like lateral support it looks really really good so here in the forefoot i mean you're good to go we have the light strike coming up like crazy we actually have three peaks right uh, we have the mid for chain plate and then two other peaks from light strike and then in the heel they, there probably is an internal heel counter so i'm not really worried about that and also from the top down view we can see in the forefoot we have a little bit of a leather material actually it looks like a pretty nice quality leather right and then the knit looks super nice i mean it says prime knit so it's definitely prime knit uh i do like the three stripes design going across the forefoot that looks nice and just the primer looks very comfortable. It doesn't look like it's too thick either, right? And it looks, hopefully it's like a stretchier type of knit, which I like. Because you know, I mean, I guess if it was too stretchy, it wouldn't be great for support, but I mean, you have all the lateral counters, so I'm not too worried about that. And then uh, for, for the laces, I mean, it's still like not great. And remember the Trae Young one? There's like, how many eyelets are there? There were two eyelets, guys. And this is also a one booty upper. Uh, I guess there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six eyelets, but it's, it's still like covering a very small area on the shoe. It's more just in the midfoot. If you look at regular shoes, right? Like the Wild 10 or whatever. It comes down here into the forefoot a little bit more. The Triang 2 definitely doesn't do that. So that definitely does suck. You can't customize the fit in, in the forefoot area. Uh, but I guess they did add more eyelets, so that's good. 
Uh, but also one thing that I really like is uh, the, the knit collar area. I really like that. And also there seems to be a good amount of foam padding in the heel. So uh, that looks great. It'll probably be easier to put on and it'll definitely feel like a sock. I mean, it is called sock 360 knit, right? And as far as the aesthetics go, I like it. You know, it looks pretty good. Uh, not a huge fan of like bubbling of the midsole and outsole all too much, but uh, overall, I mean, it's not a bad looking shoe. Like I like the three stripes. I like the design on the knit as far as like the midfoot and ankle area goes as well. Cushion seems like it's gonna be very good, so. Honestly, I feel like it's, it looks like it'll, it'll be a good performer. I'm not worried all too much about that. And also there were a couple of leaks. We're not 100% sure what these shoes are, but uh, Jason Tatum was supposedly playing in the Jordan 37 low. And it looks nothing like the Jordan 37. So I don't know how this is the, the, the low version, but yeah, I mean, it looks weird. It looks like a pretty cheap shoe, honestly, as well. I thought it was a JT1, you know, Jason, Tatum's first single shoe with Jordan Brandon. He, it was rumored to come out, right? So Jason Tatum and also Ja uh, Moran is getting a signature shoe as well. And Zach Levine is playing in, you know what this shoe reminds me of? It looks like the Don issue one a lot to me, you know? Uh, but some uh, some people are speculating it is the two way two V3, right? So of course, uh, Zach Levine is sponsored by New Balance, so he's been wearing like the two ways so you know this might be uh, the v3 or some people are also i mean hoop sneakers says it might be the two-way v2 low which is weird um it looks nothing like the v2 no, no, just a regular new balance this is the v2 by the way right it looks nothing like it right i guess it is a low though um it's all black so it's kind of hard to see the actual details and like the quality i mean the quality of the picture is pretty good but you know, it's, it's a small, the shoe is small, right? So it's kind of hard to see there, but the two way two is a great shoe, right? So I'm very excited about that as well. There's a lot of shoes coming out. You know, we got the new Kyrie's, the Kyrie 8 is supposed to come out in October. The LeBron 20 is supposed to come out in October. The Trae Young 2, we got the Don Issue 4, which has been out in Asia for like almost six months now, but we haven't had it in the US yet. We got the Jordan 37 coming out in a couple weeks. Uh, so we got a lot of drops coming and I'm super excited. So tell us what you guys are excited about down in the comment section below. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.